On Human Nature, 1978, second edition, 2004, is a book by Harvard biologist E. O. Wilson, in which the author attempts to explain human nature and society through sociobiology. Wilson argues that evolution has left its traces on characteristics such as generosity, self-sacrifice, worship and the use of sex for pleasure, and proposes a sociobiological explanation of homosexuality. He attempts to complete the Darwinian revolution by bringing biological thought into social sciences and humanities. Wilson describes On Human Nature as a sequel to his earlier books The Insect Societies and Sociobiology, The New Synthesis The book won the Pulitzer Prize in 1979. Summary Wilson writes that On Human Nature is the third of a trilogy, the previous volumes of which were The Insect Societies and Sociobiology, The New Synthesis and that its thesis is that general sociobiology, "...the extension of population biology and evolutionary theory to social organization." is the appropriate means of closing the famous gap between the two cultures." He proposes that homosexuality may be a distinctive beneficent behavior that evolved as an important element of early human social organization," describing it as, "...above all a form of bonding." possibly based on a genetic predisposition. Reception Mainstream media The biologist Jerry Coyne, writing in The New Republic, accused Wilson of trying to use evolutionary psychology to control social science and social policy, arguing that On Human Nature was similar in this respect to Wilson's subsequent book Consilience and to the biologist Randy Thornhill and the anthropologist Craig Palmer's A Natural History of Rape Brian Walsh in 2011 named On Human Nature as one of the 100 best and most influential books written in English since 1923 in time. He considered Wilson's real achievement to be to show how a sociobiological view of humanity could still have grandeur. The computer scientist Paul Brown in 2018 stated in Skeptical Inquirer that On Human Nature is still brimful with ideas and insights about who we are, how we got here, and how to get wherever we want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Academic journals On Human Nature was discussed by Gregory Hanlon in the Journal of Interdisciplinary History. Hanlon credited Wilson with helping to establish that human behavior could not be understood solely in terms of «learned cultural values» that the behavioral sciences could help to explain «the interpersonal actions in past societies». He compared the book to the ethnologist Ionaus E. I. B. L. Ibersfeldt's Human Ethology and the historian Daniel Lord Smale's Deep History and the Brain Evaluations in books 
The anthropologist Sarah Blaffer Hrdy argued in The Woman That Never Evolved 1981 that a reading of On Human Nature refutes the accusation that Wilson aims to use sociobiology to reinforce traditional sex roles. The philosopher Roger Scruton criticized Wilson's sociobiological explanations of human social behavior in Sexual Desire 1986, arguing that because of Wilson's «polemical purpose», he was forced to oversimplify the facts. However, he granted that sociobiological explanations of the sort favored by Wilson might possibly be correct. The anthropologist Donald E. Brown commented in Human Universals 1991 that he at first failed to read Wilson's book because his views were still conditioned by the sociocultural perspectives in which he had been trained. However, Brown concluded that, "...sociobiologists might be more convincing if they confined their explanations to universals rather than attempting to show that virtually everything that humans do somehow maximizes their reproductive success." Science writers John Gribben and Mary Gribben described on human nature as an accessible account of the application of sociobiology to people", in Being Human 1993. The sociologist Ulrika Segerstrail described On Human Nature as essentially a development of Wilson's earlier ideas in Defenders of the Truth, The Battle for Science in the Sociobiology Debate and Beyond 2000. She commented that, unlike opponents of sociobiology, Wilson saw it as having liberal political implications, and tried to develop these suggestions in On Human Nature. The psychologist David P. Barash and Alona A. Barash called On Human Nature, "...a wide-ranging, thoughtful, and controversial classic of human sociobiology." In the Mammal in the Mirror, Understanding Our Place in the Natural World 2001. Other responses On Human Nature won a 1979 Pulitzer Prize See also Biology and sexual orientation On aggression The two cultures <laughs>